Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is that time once again where we draft mono red. Or we take the opposition. Or we take Deceiver Exarch. What do you guys think? It's either Inferno Titan, Opposition, or Deceiver Exarch. Those are my three. Those are my three pref preferred cards. In before Elk Tears says Gonti. I watched it about a month ago with a friend who never seen it. We both agreed it was really good. Yeah, it's it's a great movie. If you guys haven't seen District 9, it's very enjoyable. Easiest Exarch ever, Opposition, and Titan. Wow. Literally three back-to-back -back comments with three different answers. Oh, God. This is actually a tough pick. See, this card's going to survive on its own. As long as we play red, we're going to be able to play it. This card needs a deck to build around, and so does this one. I think they're less likely to ban Hogak versus, say, a card like Vines. Vines? I'm going to take Opposition, right? No, we just did an Opposition. I'm going to take Deceiver Exarch. I don't know if that's correct. I have no idea. I like Gawain Dark Dwellers a lot. I'm a big Dark Dwellers fan. Oh, I like a Phyrexian Metamorph. I like where this is going. I do like a sort of body in mind. Metamorph's probably just better. Over Sword? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Dark Dwellers is great. I like Remove Soul, too, surprisingly. I think Remove Soul has a little more value in the Legacy Cube. But we're going to go with Metamorph, and maybe the Remove Soul comes back. Probably not, but maybe, but probably not. But maybe. Probably not. Spire Bluff Canal? I can get down with a Spire Bluff Canal. Murmuring Mystic also good if we're going the route of spells, but I don't think we really have a reason to do that when we can get a Spire Bluff Canal. Oh, Glenlanger Archmage. Yes. Excellent. This is actually turning out quite well. This is a solid five picks. You know why I didn't take Gonti? Because you turned around for a second. Got him. Oh, Control Magic? Control Magic's good in, in the... Uh, oh, yeah, we're taking Control Magic. This deck seems great so far. What's even happening? Into the Royal? Probably better than Chandra or Tormenting Voice. Yeah, Into the Royal is good. I do like Wretched Confluence. We could ditch this Dark Dweller and be Black Blue. I turned around and he was gone, T. <laughs> no, terrible. I think we're just going to go into the Royal, even though I do like Wretched Confluence. Deceiver Exarch is kind of like having a red card in your deck because you're really dependent on things like Kiki Jiki or Splinter Twin. However, Wretched Confluence is very good. I'm going to take this. We're always going to play this. We might play the other one. So that's my thirst for knowledge. Yeah, okay. I'll thirst. Mana com mm, Is it charm? Let's see. Is it oh, Smuggler's Copter? I don't think we're going to be Smuggler's Copter because we're not going to have that. I don't think we're going to have that many tiny creatures. Is it charm? Seems better for us. Ooh, expansion explosion. Yeah, this is a, this is a solid 10 pick so far. Because I've got heartache by the numbers.
Cubes. Uh, Basalt Monolith is in Cube. Oh, the Remove Soul came back? Wow, that's great. We can even Dark Dweller as a Remove Soul. Just kidding, you can never do that. There's a fire in the house, Felipe and your pets, Hunter, Mike, Little Man, and the cat. Little Man and the cat are already outside? Is that two cats? And you already have your watch wallet keys on. You have time to grab one item. What do you grab? So every so everything everything safe is outside, but I get I have time to to get one non uh living possession. Jesus, that's hard. Holy crap. It might actually be my PC. I mean, I hate to say it. I feel like the my magic cards are not in a position to... I can't just grab all my important magic cards easily. The cube is... It's possible that I could grab the cube. But I have a bunch of proxies in the cube, so it's not like I have actual power in the cube. That it's not... It's not as... That's really... I mean... Nothing I say is going to make it easier, right? The magic... There's no way I can grab my magic collection. Like, if I could say my magic collection, it's I could probably just as easily be like, my all my collectibles, that's one thing, my collectibles, you know? Because I feel like that's I feel like that's kind of cheating. I would have to probably take an individual magic box of cards, but I don't really have... Like, I feel like my rarest comic is not necessarily better than just grabbing my PC, which has all my information on it and, like, all my settings and things. Like, I don't know. It's not an, it's not an easy situation. You should grab some topical on it because you've probably got third degree burns. <laughs> Why'd you run back in the house? Uh, because I had all the, uh, the, all the aloe was in the bathroom and I had to grab it because of all my burns. But you didn't have those burns before the, that we went back in, dummy. I know, I guess you're right. Look at that last pick for Exley and Obliterator. Alright. Splinter Twin. And Pestermites and Kikums McJikums. You sure organize a box here must buy magic cards in case of fire? Yeah, well, or I could just not have a fire. Uh nothing. Sheldock Isle it is. Yeah, this pick. This pick is pretty unexciting, but Shell Duck Owl is always good, so I'm fine with it. <sighs> Grabbing the fire and taking it out of the house is actually legit. This is this is why John works at Rockstar. They're like, listen, buddy, that's the kind of that's the kind of th thinking we need around here. I'm gonna take this Riffling Cloudscape. I think I like it better than Romand. Would Mike even notice if the house is on fire? No, he'd probably just be asleep. Does it happen before 7 p.m.? He'd be asleep. Three years ago, my best friend, my girlfriend was angry, but Dave and me thought it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, jeez. You're causing me actual pain, and I like dad joke. This is Badger's MO, though. I like that all the cards that go with Goblin Dark Dwellers, like Remove Soul. Oh, uh, I guess Into the Royal is a charm or fine. I was gonna I was gonna comment on how like things like expansion explosion and removal are just not great with dark dwellers, but we do have thirst for knowledge too, actually. So we have thirst is a charm into the royal, all of which are fine. Oh, sower of temptation is nice. I do like a goblin rabble master, goblin rabble master too, but I think sower is pretty strong. Having sower and control magic is pretty okay. Chandra's good. Electrolyze is great. Time Warp, probably the best card in this pack. I 
at Google Earth, we can even read maps backwards. It's not, that's just spam. That's why are you like this? Cryptic Command? This deck is looking juicy. Yeah, we're taking Cryptic Command. Imperial Recruiter is fantastic, but I think Cryptic Command is just on another level. If you could write for one current comic book storyline, what would it be? You can't say Fantastic Four. Wow, that's messed. I like that you know me well enough that you think I would have said Fantastic Four, though. That's pretty sweet. Um, So, I'm not actually up to date on current storylines. Oh, Deck Faden? What in the hell? Our deck is looking juicy. Yeah, we're taking this deck for sure. Um, I'm not up to date on current storyline, so I'd probably just... I, I'd, I'd have to respond with like a character or a, an ongoing series. Wow, we just went Cryptic Command and attack into deck fading. Uh, it wouldn't be Watchmen. Watchmen's definitely not in my, in my favorites. I, I mean, honestly, I'd probably just wish to write for Spider-Man. Like, it's just like... I mean, Spider-Man's like the go-to, uh... Oh, Steam Vents? Wow. Wow. Like, Spider-Man is my my go-to character. I mean... Like, if you're looking for, like... I think, I think Spider-Man's like your quintessential hero. Like, he has values. He's human. He's, uh... Oh, wow. That's tempting, but we're not black. Uh, I guess we'll just take Frexine Revoker. He just embodies everything about heroism and, and superheroes that that you could think of. Which is heavier, a liter of water or a liter of butane? The water, no matter how much you have, butane will always be a lighter fl Oh, Jesus, God. <laughs> oh, God. Nut, he's part spider. That's... He's not part spider. What's your deal? It's not like... It's, it's, it's not like he's the hybrid product of a spider and a, and a man. Let's take this to Johnny. Who knows what could happen? We got a Neil Spires over here. Silver Surfer would also be very, very good. Norrin Rad is also one of my favorite Marvel characters. I like Rabble Master. I also like Fight with Fire. It just deals a lot of damage and you can get it back with Dark Dwellers. I'm pretty sure that's what End of the Spider was about. He's not, he's not part spider though. Oh my god, I can't deal with you people. I'll just take this guy. Mm, dual caster is okay. I never... I like dual, master as a car, dual caster as a card, but I'm never impressed with it. I'm never like, ooh. Deep down, aren't we all part spider? Oh, by the way, I got that spider outside. He, he, uh, I guess he's, he kind of slithered off gratefully. I hope he was grateful. I'll go kill him if he wasn't grateful. No, that would be terrible. Uh, I think it's warm coil engine here. Could be cold steel heart. This deck looks sweet. I just want to make sure we have enough wind conditions. I don't think it's worn power stone. I just like having a warm coil engine to be honest with you. 
I think it's just a solid threat. Gives us a nice little top end here. Yeah, you get a nice little top end there. And there's a lot of cards that can come back there in that pack too. Mull Drifter? Oh yes. Glorybringer is a card that could come back, which would be great. I'd also take a Negate. So any of these three coming back would be fine, but I'm going to take this Mull Drifter. You talked about wanting to start your own non magic podcast. What would the subject of the first one be? Would it be scripted? Oh, we'd be just going with the flow. Um, which is one of the things like me and Andrew have. Oh, it'd be with Andrew, by the way. Uh, Music Mike, who has been here a couple of times. And he probably will be again before he heads back to California. But uh, it's probably just going to be like off the cuff. And we're just going to banter about things that happened during the week, right? Like, hey, man. So Tuesday, this guy was pulling out at the grocery store. And uh, I can't believe we haven't hit a Splinter Twin Another Pestermite or Kiki Jiki in all of these cards. It's unbelievable. Vendillion Click seems good, though. I'm going to take this Vendillion Click. Like I said, I don't like Spellseeker in this cube. I'd rather have it in the Vintage Cube, where you can get Ancestral Recall and Time Warp. Time Walk. I think those are some of the best cards you can get. I mean, being able to just get like a Remove Soul is not super impressive. Factor Fiction, however, is pretty impressive. We have still two more slots here. And still nothing, huh? Frost Titan's good. Gives us two solid, two solid top ends. We already have Is a Charm, and we have a Remove Soul. I'm not sure if we need Man League. <coughs> Could take Spellskite in case we do, but I think I'd rather just have Frost Titan. Urza. We have like no artifacts. Oh, man, that's super Thank cool, you. though. Sammy, 20, 48 months, man. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. I'm going to take this Wandering Fumarole. I'd rather just have a third land that fixes when our color requirements are so hefty. Um, Some of those cards would have been nice, though. I can't believe, like... I, I mean, like, we're just not playing to see Rexarch if, if we don't get... If we don't get the pieces, so... Which is sad, because it actually kind of encouraged us to go into blue red but I mean we've got a toxic deluge and ultimate price is black just better mystic confluence this is a foil mystic confluence <laughs> this is this is a randomly foil mystic confluence in the cube they're like put one put one foil card in the cube as mystic confluence that's weird I'm gonna take it because obviously it's mystic oh <gasps> We just got Mystic Confluence into Splinter Twin? Come on, dude. I was at Starbucks yesterday, and this woman kept trying to get her order before mine. She ordered after me. And I was on the phone the whole time. I walk out with my stuff and get in my car. She hurries into her car, and I start backing up. She started to, and almost slammed into me. There was a cop there, and he made her pull back in and then gave her a ticket for distracted driving. Oh, my God, dude. The last thing you need is getting in another accident. <laughs> like, good Lord. Tail's End is pretty nice. I've, I've used this counter quite a few legendary permanents so far. Wow. Splinter Twin and Mystic Confluence back to back? Come on. Alright, so we can make one cut. We might just cut Sower of Temptation. We have Control Magic already. Wow. Dizzy Rex starts playing. You have the ability to reanimate one non-Stanley artist for one year. Well, Stanley's not an artist. He's a writer. Exclusively to create. Could be a painter, sculptor, photographer, actor, writer, filmmaker. Oh, art as in, like, creator. Gotcha. Um, okay, hold on. Let me... Let's... Take Rift Bowl just in case we need. I'll take Go for the Throat. Well, okay, when you're talking about comic books, he mentioned specifically Stan Lee, so when you're talking about comic books, the artist is the person who draws, not the person creating the art. Like it's you, when you look at the when you look at the credits in comics, it says art story. Story is the writer, art is the visual artist. I'm not saying writing is an art, I'm saying specifically in comics, you don't refer to the the story as art. You refer to the art as art. See even like even there it's like it's just how it's go it's just how, just how it how it goes. It's just how it goes, and that's the way the news goes. Um, did that Urza not get in here? What were like the what are the 
Oh, this guy moved. Okay. Did we pick up an extra card? Was it Lightning Strike? Okay. Uh, Sarah, keep in mind that they'll be right where they left off as far as style and skill set goes, meaning that they haven't adapted with the times. Real answers only, please. Thanks. Um... Hmm. Honestly, I would say Jack Kirby. I think it would be phenomenal to see Jack Kirby's art in like a modern setting. Oh man, I can't even imagine. That would be so sick, dude. It might be Expansion Explosion, but it's actually very, very good. Because like you just get to copy the removal spells. Riffling Cloudscape, you are also a two drop. Let's not kid ourselves. I think we can take out Lightning Strike for now. Uh, Thirst for Knowledge, Vendillion Click, Ravel Master, Metamorph. All of these are good. Might just be Sower. Puts us at 10 creatures. But I think that's okay. We also have Cryptic Command and Mystic Confluence. Good lord. So the other day I was just trying to get my coffee at Starbucks because I had a doctor's appointment and my house was on fire. So as I was backing up, this guy almost hit me and then a cop had the nerve to give me a ticket for reckless driving when it was the other guy's... Wow, that seems that seems like a fake story. I don't feel like that's true. I don't believe that happened to you. This is the deck, right? This has got to be the deck. This seems great. And we got a lot, of, a lot of sideboard cards. We have Rift Bolt, Tails, and Sower of Temptation, Stoke the Flames, Lightning Strike. Isn't Sower better than Into the Royal? Um, I don't think so. I mean, this is a great tempo play. Plus, we already have Control Magic, don't forget, so it's not like we don't have a way to steal creatures. I mean, Sower's great. Maybe it's, maybe it's correct. I don't know. I don't know, man. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight, twelve. I'm gonna go eleven, nine. Yeah, let's do that. Eleven, nine seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, all right. Alan Rick would be would be great too. Oh, and you said, Elk Tears, you said, uh, for one year, oh, exclusively to create art. Okay, that's relevant, because I was like, if you reanimate someone for one year, like, how much can they really create in one year? Like, what if they just don't, like, if you reanimate a movie star, for example, like, they could just not have any movies made that year, you know? Like, it's, so, but, but, but if you're, if you're doing it exclusively for them to create art, then that makes, that's kind of a good, uh, loophole slash stipulation to put onto the, the question. I like a lightning strike over Robin Master. Well, I'm like 7-1 against you, buddy. So what do you know? <laughs> also, this Robin Master is going to go to town here, just to be clear. 11 blue sources. Draw one of them. Oh, dang it. Biscuits. That's so friggin' good, dude. Like, if we play Dak Faden and activate Dak Faden, like, we just lose our... It's literally just discard two cards. Oh, God. Council's Judgment. Sure. Blue? No. No blue. Well, I guess we're not thirsting or deck fadening, so... Oh yeah, Narset's insanely busted. Narset's a great card. Narset's almost too good. I'm pretty sure Narset's too good. That's my that's my opinion. That's my hot take. I think Narset was pushed a little too heavily for a three mana planeswalker that always get always that has two impulses attached and a fundamental game changing ability that that just sits on the board.
<clears throat> okay. So, oh, they're going to do a thing during our turn? They're going to unexpectedly absent this guy? Turn not only for minute, so for zero, right? So I'm just going to redraw it? Oh, we're going to draw it next turn? Let's do this because we want to hit a land, I think. Uh, artifact, worm coil. See, in this spot, lightning strike would be better. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Wow, this is aggressive. Is there a way I can, can I steal that guy? Is there any way I can steal that guy? I guess not. Rubble, rubble. Oh, my exhaustion mounts. Our hand is very good, but I don't see it mattering. Like, they just have... I wish Tefri was an artifact, then I can steal it. Do you brush your beard often? Not really. I mean, I wash it in the shower. When I take a shower. <sighs> yeah, we're just gonna suspend this guy for now. I'm gonna keep hitting Teferi. Did something change with your camera recently last week or so? The color seems a bit different. Really? Not really. Bad different or good different? I feel like my color's fine, right? I'm not like super pale. I'm not super saturated. From the shape, I thought, I mean, I, I groom myself regularly. So my beard has a naturally like, I mean, it's just, I feel like I'm, I think I think it just I would just attribute that to to general grooming. Sure. Did you draft me? I hope you. Dra I did not draft you, Thalia. Unfortunately, you are not. You're not even my colors. Unfortunately. But one day. I don't even think I've seen you in this cube. Were you in this cube, Tally of Thraven? <laughs> oh, don't be disappointed. This is my Azkanta. Are you an Azkanta or an Az... Az Ken are you an Azkanta or an Azkanta? Ah, shit, I don't know what I'm saying. How dare you have good personal hygiene? Well, you know what they... Oh, wow. See, look, this is what I'm talking about, man. I can't deal with this. My whole this shuts off my whole hand. You just jam in any list. Any list. Wow, that's crazy. 
Each opponent can't cast spells, so only time they can cast. So I literally can't even cast. This is not even castable now. Come on, dude. This is stupid. I don't even think that's a lukewarm take. I literally said that earlier. Uh, Elk Tears asked me what card I would ban if I could ban one card in standard. I said three minutes effery because I think it's it just shuts down the entire game. Like I have to cast what like four or five spells at like all five of these one two three four five are best at instant speed. And now I'm like, well, this like this expansion does nothing. I literally can't respond to any spell with it. Can't counter a thing. Can't counter a thing. Main phase factor fiction. Like I'm just kind of like there's no point in even playing this game. But hoping like your five cards with your search for Azcanta, like that, like I'm gonna be able to resolve a Splinter Twin. Come on, my my Riftwing Cloudscape can't even resolve. Like this card's trash. This card's absolute trash. Tails end infinitely better than Remove Soul here. Uh, control Magic we can take out because I mean like it's great, but it's I'd rather have like a Lightning Strike. Stoke the Flames also just kills a Planeswalker, which I think is probably better. Uh, this seems good because we do have Expansion. Expansion is nice. I do like Revoker, but I mean, the problem is like with things like Narset or Little Teferi, I just want to be able to get them off the board. I don't want to like... I, I, I don't want to just shut them off. I want them to not be on the board. So it's just good against Big Teferi, but it could still be fine. I don't know. I think everything else is kind of better. I mean, let's not insult the genius designers of Wizards of the Coast. They are actually very... They're extremely intelligent, and getting one or two cards wrong out of thousands of cards uh, doesn't really seem like... I mean, that's not really a a fair barometer of, of success. <laughs> like, oh, no, they made one or one or two three-mana Planeswalkers incorrectly out of thousands of cards. Like, I mean, come on. Let's be realistic here. Let's not shit on people's hard work just because they aren't literally perfect. You know what? We'll deal with it. Wow, shambling vent. I didn't know black mana was present here. Speaking as someone who is literally perfect. Wow. Did you see my donation? The 97? Is there more? Was there another one? What's going on? Did I miss something? Because I literally thanked you for it. And I said you're awesome. And I said, uh, I, I mentioned that this is very, this is the most badger donation ever because uh, it, it made it even 200. So... <clears throat> You're lagging. That was like... That was 35 minutes ago. Australian internet, am I right? Alright, I guess we're just... Uh
So, like, I could just not counter this, but, like, this is not great for us. Especially if we draw, like, something good. Oh, come on, second red source. Where are you at, second red source? Actually, any land here would be great. I want a Frost Titan or Warm Coil Engine. 501 bits? <laughs> Scoreboard! Oh, yeah, the reset. The great reset. You guys are awesome. Oh, I get to do nothing this turn. Hooray! Was my last Honesty Stream to Ghost? Yeah, I'm not going to answer that. There's just, like, there's just no benefit to that. What was the, the what was, okay, so you said, um, Jesus, it was like ages ago. You have to stop doing one of the following things for the rest of your life. Brush your teeth or clip your toenails. Which do you give up? I mean, I would give up clipping my toenails. I would, I would sooner brush my teeth and make sure, uh, my teeth are, are consistently, are, are in good shape. Then, then I would just have long toenails, I guess. Which, because, I, okay, so, <clears throat> I can still grind my toenails on the sidewalk, you know, like, like a normal, like a, like an animal to keep them down. Ooh. I think we actually want time warp here. But all three of these are good, so. Sad they're on the bottom now, but. You could pay someone to cut them. Ooh, can I pay someone to brush my teeth? Probably wouldn't do that. That seems like a lot of work. Also, I try not to game. I try not to game these. Uh, well, these games like that, because it's like, <clears throat> what do bits do? Bits are like bits are basically like donations. But you pay for them up front. The fees are up front instead of on the back end. So like 501 bits is like $5.01. Um, but like it costs you a little more than $5 to buy them from Twitch. So like basically instead of the... it's You're, you're paying the fee up front rather than on the back end. I don't know why they don't... Why aren't they, why aren't they doing things? Fifteen hundred bits cost twenty dollars. Interesting. I didn't know it was that high. That's like a twenty percent, twenty five percent, twenty percent, twenty five percent. That's like a twenty twenty five percent. Do we just play Frost Titan? I think we do. I mean, whatever we play is getting countered here, right? Maybe we just untap Thirst for Knowledge. Let's do that. Oh, there you go. Badger's like, oh, now I know. Here's a hundred bits. <laughs> oh, they're gonna do a thing. Really? Really? Okay, sure. You got it. The warrior. Heart to heart will we if you survive. The song will be stuck in my head forever, I think. As long as that cons thanks to that thanks to that cons expanded cube. Let's thirst for knowledge. Let's get thirsty. Uh, two cards, maybe? It's probably just Warm Coil here, right? Actually, we can probably get rid of Stoke the Flames. And uh, an Island. Island and Stoke. Four, five, and then two left over, huh? <laughs> 700 bits! Oh, and 300 bits! Fantastic! Oh my god. Oh, that, that, that one cent bit uh, at the end, Josh, you really... I feel like you really did the... That, that, that was beneficial for you. Four, five, six, seven. I think we're just gonna set this guy in the... And keep up Cryptic Command, I guess. I mean, did we win this game? I don't even know, dude. Go away. Go away. Sure, you can have that. Nobody cares. Heart to heart will win if you survive the warrior. 
You guys know about the warrior? Yeah, you know. You know about the warrior. Sin collector? Please. If this resolves, we're just taking cryptic command anyway. Oh, I negated it. Okay, you got it. Get my little lightning strike, I guess. Good for you. This is actually great because we get to untap and play either Wormcoil or Frost Titan. Come on. Come on. Enjoy lightning strike. This guy coming down yet? No, probably like two turns, right? Probably like two turns. One, two, three, four, five. We can Dark Dwellers into Thirst for Knowledge, discard Worm Coil, and then also... Let's do that. Thirst. Cast Thirst. Uh, let's get rid of... We can get rid of our lands here. Why is it so hot outside? Chris, dude, I don't even know, my dude. I wish I could tell you. Four, five, six, seven. What if we go Rabble Master into Metamorph Copy Rabble Master and then just attack for like a thousand? I guess we're just playing this. Let's get rid of the shambling vent, I guess. Because of the sun. It's not hot here. I'm loving it. <laughs> wow. Badger's like the exact, uh, the farthest thing from a jerk I can think of. Yeah, that's what I was, I was assuming there'd be some sort of, some sort of sweeper against our deck that they've seen probably two creatures from. But, you know, what are you going to do? Hey, what are you going to do, you know? <clears throat> Yep. Boy, talk about talk about never not having it, huh? Heart to heart with a man, if you survive. Search for his counter, huh? Well, that's exciting. We got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. We can deal with five. It's pretty good. Let's play Rubble Master here. Rubble, rubble. What's the next concert you're going to? I think I'm going to actually see Mumford and Sons pretty soon. Oh, Snappy Boy. Oh, Snappy Boy. Hmm. Wow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure. That's exciting. Okay. Let's go to combat. Oh no, not my not my rabble master.
<laughs> you should buy my plane ticket and house me. Oh, is that all? Also, my concert tickets. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Obnoxious, but fine. <laughs> uh, choose any target. Choose player to draw cards. Sure. Two, three, four. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight if we attack for two. And we're drawing a sh 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 butt ton. We can also just attack them for like s four. Tap this, attack them for four. Yeah, we're doing that instead. Shooting a body, bang, bang. So one two one two three four five six seven. We just kill them next turn if they don't have a counter spell. So that's cool. Yep, that's fine. Deal. Got him. Have you seen the new Convincing Cars? I have seen all of it. I binged it on like day one. All right, so we're not doing terribly. Oh, we did see Batter Skull. Maybe the Abrade comes back in. We also saw Snapcaster and Lady, Lady Floaty. Lady Floats. Sir Floats a lot. Gimpy, enjoy work. Have a good time, buddy. Shooting at the heartache. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, I am the war. Why does this song stuck in my head? Get out of here. Just go 41. I can see going 41. We have a lot of card draw. I'll do it. I'm in. I'm in for 41. We only saw like two creatures. Seraph and... Uh, Snappy boy. Oh, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Oh man, Archmage team is nuts. Wow, get a load of this guy. Let's say Narset. Because if they bounce this guy with... If they play Teferi and they just bounce this guy, the Teferi goes to one. Which basically just dies to Rabble Master. Sure. Take two. Tells me you might actually just have an R set. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yes. 
Oh boy, we're doing it. The dream is alive. Best use of a Teferi ever. See you later, bye. See you later, goodbye. Considering they have Path to Exile and Unexpectedly Absent, I probably just want to play Galenlander on 5. Wow, Murderous Cut. Hmm. <clears throat> That's aggressive. Uh, I am currently watching the boys, yeah. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers, please. Uh, the alternative is not doing anything, and I'd kind of like to play Glenlanger Archmage here, just to resolve it. And actually, Metamorph next turn on Archmage is pretty nuts. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Hey, you got it. <clears throat> oh, that's actually pretty nuts. So we can go one, two, three. Thank you. Borax Soup Slugger, it only took me six months to figure out how to send a message like this. I'm sending a message. Uh, tap this guy. Wow, this goblin is killing all the Teferis. <laughs> oh, that's just fine. That is just fine. Tail's End in Hand is pretty great. Ugh, triggered a legendary spell. Just get Murderous Cut. I guess that's fine. We could Tails End this trigger and save our Deceiver Exarch, which is great if we top deck, uh... Oh, it's gonna cost three. Yeah, sure, that's fine. I guess we can't do anything about that. <clears throat> well, that is unfortunate. Which means we're probably going to draw Splinter Twin. Stoke the Flames. What about... One, two, three, one, two. Oh, God, Metamorph doesn't actually do anything here, unfortunately. We could go one, two, three, four, and then we have two mana left over for Metamorph. We have two cards in hand. I feel like we're just in I feel like we're in better shape. You know what do they have left? Narset? We can just play this guy, have Narset, and keep up Tail's End. I think that's actually fine. We can also stoke the flames their face and have it for a Torrential Gear Hulk if we copy it. Sure. I'm just gonna take five here. Why aren't you legendary? One, two, three, four, five. Land? Highlander Archmage Biscuits Let's 
We can metamorph, copy Stoke, kill this guy, keep a copy of Tails End Up. I think we just play Archmage here. It's just too good to not play it. Still does something, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that's a good description of the boys. Unexpectedly absent. No, you have one card in hand. Activated abilities? Oh, God. Gross, dude. God, Tide Taker is such a piece of shit. Oh, God. I totally forgot it was activated abilities, too. Uh, you watch it on Amazon Prime Video. No, we're not, yeah, we're not going to four here, so. Land? Mystic Confluence. Hmm. Pretty decent, right? So, return three dudes. Cast. Target you. Target you. And probably the tithe taker? I mean, I want to take five here. They just replay this guy though, right? And I'd rather them play this and get a they can't they can get an unexpectedly absent for zero, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. Cha 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 cha. And they can do it EOT. is actually really obnoxious. I mean, we could Phyrexia Metamorph copy this guy just to have a copy of it. Stoke the Flames this guy. Metal Discussion? No, dude. Knock yourself out. Not even a little bit. Um, And then we do get to keep up Glenlinger Arch Range. Inactivity time remaining? What? There you go. <laughs> That's weird. I've never seen that before. Also, I have half the time they do. On Drum Tuna, have a good night, buddy. Wow, the triple block. The coveted triple block. Actually feels like we're in good shape here. I mean, they get another free card. They have an impulse, but I guess it's fine. Path to Exile is nice. Path to Exile is nice. 
Especially because I just want that six land, but I also don't want to take five here, so I'd rather just keep my Torrential Gear Hulk. Sure. So they have Path and two other cards. Jeez. Still had. Oh, man. That's great. So they have one card and we just get to slam with Worm Coil Engine. That seems good. I mean, they have two cards. They've used Council's Judgment, Unexpectedly Absent, and Path to Exile. Teferi is in the graveyard. Maybe this sticks. Okay. I'm all right with it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with all of it. Pretty sure we're just attacking here. Um, wow. This could go well for us. Uh, return a creature, return two creatures, right? We play, we'll play a land this turn, right? Oh, we didn't play a land. That's so bad. Sure. <laughs> Your hand is Supreme Verdict Engineered Explosives. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. They let us untap? Oh, wow. That's nuts. Factor Fiction. Any order. Oh, this is great. Wow, that was fantastic. Eh, counter target spells draw a card. Wow, both of these are very good. Whoo! Buttery biscuits. Uh, I guess we'll just choose pile one. You got it. Batter skull. Uh, just draw two, discard two. And these two. So we have lethal on board and we can just steal their batter skull and they can't bounce it next turn. Seems good. 
Oh my god, this game was nuts. That match was insane. I did not think we were winning that match because they had a lot of good cards in their deck. That was a great game. You ain't kidding. Yeah, this is fine. Got all the colors. Got a thing to do. Tempted to kill this guy. But I don't know if that's great. Like, I'd rather just almost disc draw two discard two because we have so much land in hand. Also, when they're attacking with uh, their Arbor Elf, that's a good sign. All right, let's just discard. Draw two. Two already. It's going to be two more lands already. That's pretty good. I'll get rid of two. Well, that'll do. All right. Let's see what's happening. Shooting at the horizon. What's up, Dragon Cackle? Mystic Snake, Avenger of Zendikar. Yeah, we're getting rid of the Garrick Wildspeaker, I think. Oh, they can cast Mystic Snake, though. Garrick Wildspeaker is rough because I guess we can just kill the Garrick. Let's get rid of Mystic Snake here. So we know that's your hand. Sure. So you just play Garrick this turn. You make a beast or you untap. Hmm. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's rough. I almost feel like we have to control magic this. Because, like, they're going to have four mana, five mana, six, seven mana, and they just go Avenger of Zendikar. But they can't also play a land, so maybe we let them Avenger. What do they play? An island? Okay, so island and Garrick is gone. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let it happen. Would they play island again? So many islands. Hope we're not going to get punished for this. We are not. I'm gonna put a I'm, trigger. Oh, give me them plants, boy. Always yes. That's right. Big plants coming through attacking Garrick. Now we know about two. That's a song I wrote about the cards in your hand. I was just watching him go fire with a cool looking soul herder deck. 
I'm, I'm on board for this. Vivian Reed. Well, that's amazing. Come on. The top decks are real. Close. Not what we're looking for, though. Attack Vivian Ritos. Jeez. That's unbelievable. Dark Dwellers, we get to kill one plant. Seems terrible. Time Warp is probably better here. Interesting. Username equals their actual name? Yes, that's correct. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. That's kind of what we're hoping for. If only Dark Dwellers could hit this time warp. Get in there. I just want to swing. Good times, good times. Five, six, yeah, we're just going to tap down the Avenger. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Drive safe. Even though you said that three minutes ago, so you're probably gone. All right. So we're going to Deceiver Exarch, and then we're going to Splinter Twin, and we're going to hope they don't have anything. I will cross my Fingeals. Those are my fingers. I'll cross my toes, too. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They have 14 damage on the board. There's a piece of cardboard on the ground, which is what I was trying to scoop the spider up with earlier, and Kitty Cat is like, I'm going to sit on this. And that's what he's doing. He's sitting on it. What a maniac. Tap this guy. Oh, Bill Brown, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, William McBrilliam? It's not your name. Well, dang it. I guess we can hope they don't have, like, cryptic command in hand. All right. You gotta risk it for the biscuit. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> oh. It's a beating. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy boy. It's a beaten, all right. Okay, so we'll bring in the lightning strike because you got the. Oh, I'm kind of like, do I just bring in toxic deluge? I have no way to get. Sower of temptation seems great. Uh, this guy's also fine, maybe. Riffling your two drop, remove souls, op. Rob master seems bad here. I 
Maybe just go, maybe we'll go 41, guys. Chat, I definitely did see the link, and I saved... I saved the deck. Yeah, I'm good with 41. One more turn, I've been hoofed up though. That's good to know. Oh God. You know what? I'll keep it. Got two lands. What more do you need? Oh, that's that's a two drop. How's Dak? I mean, it's fine. He's 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 never he's never as good as he is in Legacy Q or in Vintage Q. But I mean, if we draw Dak here, it'd be thrilled because we can actually steal this but uh, on the other hand we'd also need a land so i'm gonna err on the side of drawing a land here first and then we can draw a deck land into deck oh dear god okay 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 do you want to kill this or do we just want to I think we're just going to I think we're just going to V click and then we're going to try to hit a land so we can control magic it cuz that seems really good. Also, it's going to put this forest in their hand, which is great. So we know exactly what they're drawing. And it's gone. <laughs> it's, he's definitely not going to come out right now. What does that even mean? God dang, a, a crater of two though. Oh, or uh, Carnage Tyrant too? Jeez, this hand is just mono bombs. Oh god, I'm almost tempted to take the Nissa. But then they play Carnage Tyrant. And I don't think we have any recourse for that guy. Oh god, Nissa's busted though. <sighs> Jesus. This hand is great. It is great bad news. It is the worst, best news that we could get. Uh, I think it still has to be Crater Huff because it just kills us immediately, whereas they can only play one of these other things. Oh, and then they draw an island. Dang it. This island's going to come down. Stuck on you. No forest. Nisa. This is gone. Untap that. Now you can go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yep, yeah, then the forest is gone. Six mana for Carnage Tyrant. That's a good. Yep, that's a good turn. This is a good turn. I am, uh... Ooh, does... Oh, man, I was really hoping that guy came down this turn. Okay, okay, Into the Royal's nice. Oh, Dak Faden. You don't do much, though, let's be honest. It's got to have reach, right? <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if he did. All right, well... We know they have Garrick in hand and one other card. Search for tomorrow, right? That's good. Oh, 
Oh, does this guy come down next turn? Yes, that's very good. Because we can bounce a land and kill the Nyssa or kill the Garrick or kill everything. Yes, I'm on my way. Nissa is a problem. There's a lot of mana. But they we know they only have Search for Tomorrow in hand as far as I can tell. Oh, these guys have Vigilance too. That's really obnoxious. Do you use a pen and paper? or the I use pen and paper. That's a lot of attacks. This is actually okay. We bounce one. We enter the Royal one. We Riffling Cloud to get the other. And then we have three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, they get to keep one of these guys? That's brutal. Cast. Let's bounce forest. Forest in hand. Okay, we're going to enter the royal this. Oh, no, we can't enter the royal and land. Biscuits. Biscuito. Um, that's really sad. We're at seven, so we just die to this guy if we alpha. Oh my god. And we can't even splinter twin because we don't have the this is stupid. I'm having a stupid time right now. Come on, two lands in a row. Zero lands is what you're giving me here? Come on. Good lord. And then we're just going to draw this next turn and we can't cast it, so it's actually pretty bad. Yeah, we're just dead here. Combo's not going to do anything. We have no mana to actually... We have four lands. We can't actually do anything with the combo. We can't tap this guy down, so we literally have one. Yeah, that's brutal. My god. Tail's End is great because we've seen multiple Planeswalkers in their deck. Dak Faden, you're not really great here. Try again. Try again. Try, try again. Snap it. Snap it off. Snap it off and snap it out. This is a winning hand if I ever saw one. And I have. I've seen. Have a Sammy, have a good night, buddy. I've seen winning hands before. If you could, if you can evoke at instant speed, that'd be sick, right? Well, any blue source and I'm okay with it. I'll even take a wandering fumarole. Do we have, we have steam vents in our deck? Have we drawn a steam vents yet? Oh, that's that's real good. Oh boy. Well, I'm not at a point where we're going to drift yet because we do have land drops. We just have two double blue cards in hand. Sure. Oh no. No, sir. <sighs> We're just going to evoke Muldrifter here because we're not doing anything else. I really like to hit a blue source. And come on. Yes. Good to go. G2G. Now our hand looks very, very good. Sylvan Library letting you dig. Uh, Every single turn, though, is not ideal.
Oh, now Wandering Fumeral shows up. Fashionably late to the party. Higgins, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Nissa? Oh, baby. Uh, draw two cards and... I am here for this. Oh, Riffling Clouds King bouncing this and putting Garrick to one? Hmm, am I here for that too? Maybe. Could also just play Warm Coil Engine. That's a thing to do. Oh, we can't actually. It's not suspended. Never mind. I was like, we could just attack the Garrick right now. No, nope, that's not how suspend works. Or I guess that is how suspend works, but we didn't suspend it, so, you know. Okay, we're definitely stealing Tireless Tracker. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus, Carnage Tyrant is such a piece of shit. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven. So we actually can play Worm Coil and keep up expansion if we really want to. I mean, unfortunately, Vivian Reed kills Sower of Temptation the same way it kills Control Magic. And they're going to play Harmonize. Okay. All right. One, two. Okay. This is good. This is good. That's oh, we could have actually we could have actually expansion the harmonize. Actually, this is just I mean this is just a great card you want to keep in the in the deck for later. Keep in the hand, I guess. I think we're just double blocking here. <laughs> Getting this Carnage Tyrant off the board is unreal good for us right now. You can untap two lands, keep their Garrick. We actually just might attack with Wandering Fumarole if they keep Garrick on board. That's actually great for us. Okay. Um, I am relatively scared of a Avenger of Zendikar. So we have one, two, three, four, one. We can actually play a land. And this is actually, we can keep Factor Fiction up, but it also lets us a Braid and Explosion Expansion for three or two. So we'd only draw two cards, we would be able to get rid of an Avenger before it actually did need damage. And that's I think that's our big concern, because we can also factor fiction this turn. One of the few cards we lose to here, I think, is Avenger of Zendikar. I mean, on the bright side, they haven't drawn any extra cards off Sylvan Library.
Oh boy, is this it? Did we do it? Wow, did we just like... Oh, they play a land first, so maybe this isn't it. Oh geez. Green Sun for six. Um hmm. okay. This seems great. For six, it's like Primeval Titan or like Rampaging Balos, I imagine. Oof. Oh, yes. All right. Resolves. They could have also used 8 mana to cast Green Sun for 7 to get Avenger for a million and then play a land. That was what we were playing around. But that did not happen. Deranged Hermit. Fascinating. Thank you! 29 months, sweet lord. Let's celebrate tomorrow. Let's do it. I'm in. Okay, so... They have three green mana up. I don't think they actually have a way to deal with Deceiver Exarch. So we're going to play Deceiver Exarch here. Tap a permanent. Does it matter? I don't think so. And we're just going to block. I ain't in the business of taking an extra three if I don't have to. Splinter Twin. Time Warp? That's kind of like a Splinter Twin. Target myself. Let's target this guy. That gives us a lot of things to do. All right, we're looking for Splinter Twin, guys. I will not pay Echo. <laughs> he did. Into the Royal. So we can actually draw two. I think drawing one is probably just better though, right? I like actually getting rid of Sylvan Library here, to be quite honest. Twin? Cryptic Command. Oh boy, that's nice. Oh, that is a nice. We are doing well here. Um, let's just hold back. Because they either have to. Yeah, this is fine. They either pay for the Hermit or they don't. And now without without Sylvan Library in play, we just get to basically um they just have to draw. They're just in top deck mode. Oh boy, butter my crater huff. No, 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 no. No, boy, no. The noest that I could ever, I could never think of. No, no. You can have that. Oh, I could have actually countered that too. Dang. I forgot about, no, I couldn't. I didn't have the mana. That's right. Okay. I was like, wait, no, that's not a thing. Um, yeah, this is fine. Where's my dang Splinter Twins? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 5, 9, 11. 
So we take away four, it's seven. So we can draw three and hope it's in the top 25% of our deck. We could also just is it charm too. That's actually probably better. And we did it. Get rid of a braid. Frost Titan. I can't imagine they have anything, and if they do, we have expansion. So if it's like a it's they have one green mana up. You two. Do 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 do. This deck has been performing quite well. All right. Well, do we three zero yet? Not yet. We're working on it, though. We're working on it. a nice person that that opponent was very joy enjoy joyful enjoyable oof Enjoyable full. <laughs> yes. Correct. Uh, I'll keep this hand. I will keep this hand. Alright, let's see if we can 3 out here. We're playing against Fresh Tings. With the Spongebob capitalization. Oh god. Oh god, it's happening. It's all happening. I like having Deceiver Exarch over Pestermine here because I think it's a lot more resilient against this red deck. I'm going to let this guy get through for two. I'm not super concerned with it. There's a little boy at the hospital that you to three out a night. Okay, well, you know, I'm doing it for... Doing it for the gentleman. Uh, actually, let's counter that. That sounds great. That's basically the same as killing it. Hmm. Alright. This is great because we can Thirst and then get rid of Metamorph, which is probably not going to be super relevant in this mono-red matchup. Yeah, that's fine. You got it. I think our, our, our game plan is really just find Deceiver Exarc and try to kill them with it. Getting thirsty. We did not find your boy. Artifact. Metamorph. Metal morph. That's a metal morph. Exarch. Land. Not cryptic command land. Four mana doesn't do anything for us here, so we'll just play Spire Bluff so we can have cryptic command up next turn. Keep up, remove soul. Then we can also just Riffling Cloudscape next turn, which is a little bit scary with the Lava Mancer in play, but what are you, you going to do? No 
box. Nothing? Nothing? Dang. Biscuits. What a bunch of biscuits. Except it kills it. That's correct. That is correct. I mean, we can go Riftwing, bounce the Lava Mancer. That is an option. Yeah, we're not letting... That's not really where I want to be in my life. Counter this... I don't think we're winning this game anymore. I'm feeling bad about our life choices. Yikes. Oh, bad beats. Oh, look who finally showed up. I mean, they have to have it, right? Let's go to the attacks. I mean, this is we're, it's lethal if we don't if we don't drop this guy like it's hot. So one, two, three, four, five. I guess we'll block this guy. Nope, let's not do that. Let's block one, one. One, two, three, four. If they have three damage, they're gonna kill us anyway. Whereas, like, this gives us a chance to actually survive against Grim Lava Mancer. If they have a burn spell, they're also going to deal four to our face. Sure. I mean, I don't know why you don't have to play that first when you have Monastery Swift Spear, but I guess what do I know? All right, let's bring in all of these removal spells. Rift Bolt. Dak Faden seems rough. Control magic still seems fine. I'll still be stealing your guy. Take out Frost Titan. Did you think that was did you think that was the match? All right, we'll give it a go. Not nearly as, uh, the potential is a lot lower than the last hand. I think this is where we 2-1, guys, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll take a Cloudscape. <laughs> you can't be late to work and expect to, expect to stick around. Really? Because that's Mike B's entire life philosophy. Oh, got him. Got him. He's not even here and I've roasted him. Jesus. Somebody call the ambulance. Oh. All right. Now we're talking. Well, I want to play any of these on four, so I'm just going to wander a funeral here. I guess we still could have, but the only thing we're going to do is thirst here, and I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a thirsting kind of mood. I'm saying Mike begins to work late every single day, dude, and it's ex it's an exhausting part of my existence. Oh, 
I'm tempted to just control magic this. I don't actually think we're going to find a better creature than a 2-2. Which is fine, because it's a removal spell and it gets to block something eventually, so. Did you ever have bald patches in your beard? Um, like when I was growing up, like when I was a teenager. But, I mean, then it just grows in, you know. I like it. Can't block these guys, so might as well get crack a lacking. Oh, that's rude. Not gonna let you ruin my fun. Uh, land, land. Sure. <laughs> Good lord. That thing needs to get out of here. It's gonna be an island, you ready? Oh, a metamorph. Never metamorph I didn't like, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm tempted to confluence this and two of these guys. Uh, I don't really want the 3-3 three, three on board, because that guy just seems like it's going to eat us alive. And it also just time walks them, so they have to replay that guy. Wow, they're going to get rid of our Wandering Fumeral? Jesus. We've got Dr. Fun over here. <laughs> get rid of two of your red sources, draw Cryptic Command. Like you do. Hmm. Intriguing. Okay. Well, this could be a quick round three. Keep the faith. Uh, what can we get with Goblin Dark Rollers? Lightning Strike this guy? Sure. I still have three cards in hand. We're at seven, essentially. Muldrift next turn seems good, though. Block Thopter. Well, never mind. Go to five. Hmm. Not a fan. Not a fan. Tormenting voice, experimental, experiment frenzy. Yikes, both of these are actually decent. Uh, 
Oh boy, it's got to be Experimental Frenzy, right? Jesus. That's brutal. Discard the mountain. All right, three new cards. Yikes. Discard a mountain. Imperial recruiter. Okay. Okay, we got a Bomac Courier. That's nice. That is nice. All right. How are we not dead? I don't understand. I feel like we're supposed to be dead. Bomey. Negative. I will block. We get to untap with Cryptic Command? Wow. Oh, one mana shy. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Do we copy this? I'm pretty sure we copy this. They have no cards in hand. Land. Steam vents. Um, no. That's actually fine. Pass. Copy your face, got him. Wow, that's rude. That's like the rudest thing you can do. Um, interesting. Doesn't matter. They have no cards. Eat their board. Splare Twin. Revoker. And safe. We're in the comfort we're in the driver's seat now, boys. And game. Wow. 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 Who saw that coming? All right. Well, keep this stride. We're doing it. We're living the dream. Urza's two creatures in one. She's not terrible. Is that better than like Sower of Temptation? Actually, we took Sower out because it's a liability. Um, it might be better than like Factor Fiction, actually. I don't think we have time for Factor Fiction, whereas Urza's is like, hey, buddy. This uh, might also be too slow. Dual Caster Mage is just literally copy your burn spell and kill your guy, but Tails End does not get rid of anything. Not a ton of stuff, I don't think. I mean, I'd love to word into black where we get Toxic Dealers, go for the third and ultimate price, but whatever. I think this is good like this. Show and tell, yes. Actually, show and tell if we have worm coil is not terrible, but, you know. Uh, keep. This hand is slow, but I think it gives us a lot of possible draws that we can cast. Get a load of this guy.
That's aggressive. Are they just trying to empty their hands so their Beaumont Courier is super pumped? Come on one time. Mall Drifter. Womp womp. I think we're still fine here. I mean, it depends on how aggressive their turn three is. It seems not aggressive at all. And this guy. We got a goblin. All right, sure. They already used chain lightning. Can they kill this guy? Little man, not now. God. Mizium orders. Sure. Yeah, this is all fine. I mean, now they're at a point where they can discard two to draw two, essentially. To net two cards, as it were. Have an untap artifact, add a blue. That's actually pretty nice because our constructs can activate Glenlinger Archmage if we want them to. Flame Slash, sure. So now they're just going to draw five cards, which is pretty brutal. This, yeah, that's insane. Oh, wait, hold on. If they don't have a land here, we can actually try to get rid of this guy. Somehow. Come on. Some way to get rid of it. Ugh. <sighs> Could cycle Mole Drifter here. Wow. So bad. <laughs> so bad. Or two lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six to eight. And 41 cards, we're playing 17 and 24. Makes sense. What? Really? This is very strange to me. Cards. Sure, but now we can shut off P and Karen Alar, I guess. Name PP Pee -Pee and Kirby. Wow, that's is that is that the official name? PP Pee -Pee and Kirby. Yep, that's a thing. That is a thing. What do you get with this? Grim Lava Mancer? Turns out you do. All right, well, that's fine. Sure. That's just a good deal. Upgrade. Fucking mountain. <laughs> okay, seems good. Seems really good. Seems just fantastic, actually. Oh boy. I made myself for thinking of making a cube. Are there any really fun cube formats that you would recommend? Just thought, um. I think my favorite cube is just the vintage cube from Magic Online and just modifying it to your own personal styles and preferences. Um, they have five cards in their hand. 
I did enjoy the cons cube. I think it could use a little work, but I definitely had a, a good time drafting it. What's this gonna be? Oh no. Negative. Just block one of these guys? That feels so bad. Whatever. Did you ever figure out where your cool stuff article is going to be on? Uh, yeah, it went up yesterday. <laughs> I would hope so. Yeah, my articles go up every Wednesday on CoolStuffInc.com. So. Vendillion. I don't even know if I love Vendillion Click. That's not the article. I don't really like getting rid of Dark Dwellers. I don't think it's great. Haji Gulashi with the, with the update. Nice. Nicely done. Appreciate it, buddy. Stoke the Flames, PNLR, Legion War Boss, Exquisite Firecraft. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. I guess we'll take that. Sure, dude. Jesus. And we're the deadest I've ever seen. Yep, that'll do. I mean, if we could draw a worm coil, maybe we're in. Maybe we're doing it. But we just we we're, we're just gonna draw a mountain instead. Yeah, this game's over. God, after our after that epic game too, no less. I'm kind of I'm curious to see what we've drawn. It's gonna kick me out to the lobby and give me my prizes. But I'm gonna go back to the game and I'm gonna go back to the game and draw, land, the worm coil's two away. So close. Either way, thank you guys for hanging out. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Definitely check out my article and leave a comment on the article itself. Uh, it's definitely helpful for me. It's It looks good. It's it's good involved engagement. And I uh, really appreciate you guys uh, doing so. So check it out. It's at CoolStuffInc.com. It is about the Modern Horizons cards that stand out that are not like the top cards, like not Ren and Six, not Force of Negation. Just a bunch of cards that uh, you might not have expected to have had such an impact. So definitely check that out. Um... But yeah, you can also check me out at Twitter or uh, twitch.com. You can check me out at patreon.com and uh, manatraders.com where you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. You can find all those links down below in the video's description. I will see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.